Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Hello, we are the Tough Book Experts and you are watching Bob Johnson's Computer Stuff Inc. Today we'll be showing you how to set up the Panasonic Tough Book H2 tablet when you first receive it in the mail. The rugged Panasonic Tough Book H2 handheld tablet runs a full Windows 7 professional OS. I cannot think of a better tool for mobile workers to increase productivity across the board. With impressive ergonomics, a 10.1 inch sunlight viewable LED screen, as well as being capable of going up to 6,000 nits in direct sunlight, and not to mention all weather sealed design, you can work with the H2 practically anywhere. The Panasonic Toughbook H2 comes available with an Intel i5-2557M processor. It also comes with a extended warranty option. First receiving your H2 in the mail, you may ask yourself, what is the first step? Well, we as the Toughbook experts are here to help, so don't worry. The first step would be to open your box and remove the content. Your box will be closed by two pieces of tape, one on the top and one on the bottom. I recommend only removing the tape from the top to avoid any accidents. I'm using a standard box cutter to open mine. I recommend you use any blade that is available to you, but always remember, safety first. Don't forget to always cut away from yourself. This rule applies for the edges as well. We are going to now open our box using our box cutter and notice that I'm cutting away from myself to avoid any cuts or injury. Same thing applies for the edges. I'm cutting away from myself while I'm opening the box. Just like so. Now that we've opened our box, we simply remove our content from the box and begin setting up our Panasonic Toughbook Tablet PC H2. You may notice foam filler in the box when you first open it. This just assures safe travel for your Toughbook while in transit. Here at Bob Johnson's Computer Stuff Inc., we believe in quality assurance first. <clears throat> your box should contain your AC charger, your Panasonic Toughbook H2, and your invoice. We are now going to put our box to the side and at this point we have our H2 out of the bubble wrap. Next step we have to plug our AC charger into our DC port for the H2 and start giving it power so that way we can have some uptime and continue with setting up our Panasonic Toughbook tablet H2. Now the H2's all weather design and 6 foot drop protected build makes this tablet PC ideal for all mobile workers. Now that I've plugged my charger into a power source, I'm going to now plug in the charger into the DC port so now we can get some uptime for our Panasonic Tablet H2 PC. You will be able to know that it is receiving power by the LED indicators located on this side. Now let's do a quick components review. This will help you adapt to using the Panasonic Tablet PC H2 in less time. Starting with the DC port, located here on the side edge of the H2 tablet PC. The extremely ergonomic hand strap and dome is located on the back of the HT tablet PC. The power on and off button is located on the front edge of the tablet PC here, as well as the barcode scanner located at the bottom edge of the tablet PC. This tablet has great connectivity, including one USB 2.0, one female dedicated 19 pin dock here, one ethernet NIC located here, as well as one serial port located right next to it. Not to mention there are five programmable hardware buttons, as well as touchscreen keyboard built in. We are now going to turn on our Panasonic Toughbook Tablet H2 PC for the first time and we will have now completed our setup for our H2. You do so by pushing the button here. As you can see, the Panasonic menu, your Windows 7 operating system is now starting up. By the way, this tablet PC is extremely light to carry. Your 
Your operating system is now fully booted up and you are at your desktop and your PC tablet is ready to be used. Thanks for tuning in here at Bob Johnson's Computer Stuff Inc. If you enjoyed the video today, don't forget to hit the like button. And also, if you have any questions, please feel free to comment. Until next time. Thanks for watching today. For more repair videos, click the link below. And remember, if you have a screwdriver, you can fix a computer.